Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Dominions 4, and I've been moving some people around, as you might be able to tell from the arrows. I got a guy moving from Arcosa Fail over to the Silver Fangs to pick up some units over here. Uh, not a whole lot, but every little bit counts at this point. Then I got an army moving over to the Raspberry Woods, one going over to the Bulwark. And it hopefully, as I've been planning forever, moving up through Zabalba and uh, trying to block this area out at least. So... That's the plan over here. I'm thinking we're going to have to keep an army near this coast because of stupid uh, T and Chi having this, uh, whatchamacallit, in this tile here. I don't even know how it's producing much resources, but those shamblers only cost one resource anyway, so I guess that's why they can produce so many units. Uh, but we're going to clear out this area around Vanheim, move an army over towards the Forest of Pine, and then work up to the Waywoods. And I'm thinking we'll use that as a choke point. And just stop right there. That's my plan. Firlanom has an amulet of water breathing and also an army of sea trolls. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more attempt to get in that stinking water tile. He's going to cast a water elemental with my last water uh, gem. And then quicken self and bark skin. So hopefully that will be enough for him to do some work here. Uh, I do have a dancing trident, which I guess flies around him and attacks his enemies. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I'm thinking we're going to enter at the pit and head over. So that's the plan. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm almost forgot. I'm trying to spread these temples around. Because my dominion is not very strong. Uh, temple, temple. Not much we can do there, I guess. Let's, uh, Put all these guys on preach. We're in negative six. That's pretty terrible. And I think that's it for this turn. Let's do it. I don't know. Hopefully this works. I think the, the strategy is sound. Once I get the all our fronts kind of taken care of, then we can move south through Baratos and take the uh take the thrones down there. No sights, no sights. I found out that you can set these guys on monthly castings. So I got one on Auspex, one on Gnome Lore. That's pretty nice. Here's our Bulwark fight. So they, they only had like 30 units here. And this is our... I believe this is our... Um, Prophet. Yep, Onund. Oh yeah, this is a joke. Should be alright for us. I think the Vanirs can handle this. So let's go ahead and skip that. Undefended province in Snowford. Yep, okay, that's fine. That's kind of what I was expecting. They got 160 troops there. So quite a bit. And Battle in the Grey Mercs. So I believe they had some... These. This is an interesting group here, because both of these uh, Vanyarls here have some actual weapons. One of them casting Aim, Gorm, and Blessing. I don't know why, but he's got a... Uh, uh, Arbalist or something, and the other guy's got a fr uh, firebrand, I believe. That smoked that uh, that chariot. That was pretty nice. And undefended province in the Silver Fangs. Good God. Well, we'll take that back. Here's the Black Harbor. Oh, this is them attacking our provincial defenses. Probably not going to pull this off. Let's see what they. Casting invulnerability. Oh. I don't think we can win this one. Speed it up. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. I friggin' hate Sabalba. They are annoying. Yeah, there go our cavalry. I don't think we're gonna pull this off. Looks like they got some kind of regeneration going on there. So... There's yet another one that we have to worry about. Some gold from that looks good. We're getting sieged in three cities. Ah, oh, God. So, let's see. Here's another problem we have now. Frode does not have the forces to attack over there. Ah, oh, God, I hate this so much. So, we're going to have to help him clear it out. They go down here. And the question is, do we have enough? I think we have enough to defend here. Got quite a few Vanerses. All of them going to be um, 
buffed by that divine blessing. And then we got uh, Skurner casting Earth Meld. But you know what? You know what I like against these guys? I don't like that. I like the Blade Wind. I'm a big fan of this spell. It is 80 mana, though. Hmm. Let's see. Earth Power would give him one level up. That puts him at 20. That's 20 fatigue. Okay, so that would put him at level 4, which means it would cut Blade Wind fatigue in half. So that would make it 40. So we could actually cast two. Whoops, just kidding. We could actually cast two Blade Winds going that route. Did I put Summon el Elemental? No, Earth Power. Good. So I think that'll work out for us. Um, they go down. Ah, oh, God. Drives me nuts. Just the... They're just doing such a good job of spray down. Apparently I forgot to move Fairland on. Not good. I gotta relieve this siege over here. We got a fairly decent army. They got... Uh, we got about 100 and some units. They have 160. Do we have enough? Casting Blessings, uh... Hmm. Huskarls, I feel like we have enough. But it does worry me a little bit. And I don't think we need this many guys guarding the commander either. So let's move that out. Do something like that. I, I think we can pull this off. I think. Kind of scares me a little bit. But we're going to give it a shot. I, I want to say we can we can overcome this. They are much weaker than our units, so... The numbers disadvantage doesn't worry me too much. This guy apparently has... A black bow. I don't remember him getting this. Extra effect is Feeble Mine. Huh. 40 range. Wow. I don't remember him getting that. He must have picked it up from a... Some kind of battle. Interesting. He's got a whole bunch of crap on him. What about these guys? Hand Axe of Sharpness. Okay, okay. Well, let's put Hilder on attack then, because it doesn't make much sense to have him sitting there blessing. Uh, I like to do aim. That gives us five more aim, uh, precision, so it's pretty nice. Steel Breath. All right, let's uh, hold her fire. Let's just have him fire. Closest enemy, so that looks good. Okay. I'm pretty confident here. Let's do it. Break the siege. Those guys are preaching. Let's build a temple. God, I'm so poor, though. That's the only thing. I got, I got three uh, commanders over here and no units to give them. Which sucks. But what can you do? So Barre... Barre should be able to clear out the Forest of Pine. I think he can do that alone. And by alone, I mean he's going to go with Farbot. Because he can also do Blade Wind. I think that's going to work out pretty well for him. Let's see. And these guys sitting at... Vanners, Gorm doesn't even have Gorm number two doesn't even have any units. He just waits and then attacks. They're pretty light over here, so actually we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna cut this off. Aston, Astonophia, and then up to Waywoods. I think if we can get the units to do it. My guys are still casting. No more in aspects. Maybe not no more anymore. Might, uh... Ooh, I don't know how I did that, but... It looks nice. Okay. He stopped casting. I don't like that. There we go. So, he should keep going. Oh, that's Farbot. What the hell am I doing, guys? Jesus. What are you letting me do over here? I'm a mess. What am I doing? Okay, no more. There we go. Oh, Christ. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, we got this. There we go. Okay, holy crap. My brain hurts. Okay. Fearlinaw moving down. Looks good, looks good. 
Ah, oh, man. How's our research doing? We did pick up another construction level, which gave us Clockwork Horror's Crusher Construction. I'm looking for this very powerful magic items. Though, I don't feel like I use them very well, so... One more level in Conjuration will let us get our... I believe will let us get Valkyries. Though I don't know how useful they'll be, but... Hey. Why not? Looks like a big fight. 11 turns. Oh, there's another one. Oh, man. Lots of fights going on. Seems like every turn now there's like five or six battles. Alright, no more. Yet another failure. I don't I don't think I like those spells. I've been thinking about this. I from what I, my, what I've been reading is that you can uh Oh god. That's all we have. Oh jeez, yeah, that's a loss. Um You only need a level four caster level to guarantee that you find them. So I don't know. I'm I'm kinda thinking it would be better off just to uh Oh, look at that. I love the blade one. Totally missed everything, but it's still sweet looking. Um, I still think it would be better. It would save you a ton of gems just doing it that way. Going province by province. There's the ball work. So ball was attacking us. This could be a significant number of enemy units. It is. What is this guy? Fire snakes. Okay. Even with this horrible numbers disadvantage, I'm pretty confident we win this. Oh god, except for this unit going around the backside. Damn, that's nice. Oh god, don't throw the blade wind over there again, please. That would be upsetting if they destroy our van hearses. There we go, bam. Alright, those are all dead. Nice. Good start. Let's speed this up a little bit. So, they don't even seem like they're hitting us. Uh, they have a 12 attack skill, which isn't terrible. But they just die in droves. I don't know. But we do have some trouble back here. We got Herdman back there on defense, so that should be fine. And they are summoning undead, which can be scary. Another blade win. Damn. It's nasty. Our guys seem to be landing the shots really well. Look at that. Yeah. Crushing defeat for Zabalba. Though I do think we lost some, uh... Lost a few Vanurses out there. Let's take a look at how much damage we took. They lost 163. We lost 10. So, pretty good. Pretty good. TNCI, I, I freaking hate you guys, too. I don't know about this. Shamblers are like, um, kind of like glass cannons. Very bad offense. But they have a lot of hit points, and they hit hard as hell. I would have liked to have seen a couple of them die before they come in. For the melee. Okay, there's a couple down. I think we're gonna win this. Nice, okay. Good. Each one of those is 25 gold, so... Pretty good. Alright, another big battle here. I'm trying to take Lombaria back. God, look at how many they have. That's a lot of, uh... A lot of archers. That was a good shot, too. Only 8 precision, but they have a ton of them. Alright. So, cavalry for AI tends to be kind of rushing into the back too much and getting getting uh, out ahead of their melee units. Agni just casted Shockwave. Wow. I was kind of thinking those spells were pretty worthless, but it looked like it did a ton of damage. There go our herdmen. I'm a little worried about this. Oh, too much going on. Alright, get in there. Let's see how this goes. Herdmen are nasty. Come on. It's too much to watch. I can't keep it I can't keep track of it all. Yeah. Get out of Anheim. 
Get out of Anaheim, you bastards. We lost 32. 25 Huskar also, that's good. Those are our cheaper units. And they lost 149, so they're taking just tons of damage. Stanafia. Should be a quick, easy fight for us. Yeah. I kind of want to see the our Vanyarls in action a little bit more, but uh, fights aren't going on long enough. And here's the Silver Fangs. Try to break the siege here, too. And that's not going to be a problem. That's a pretty small force. So, the, I think the thing that really annoys me about Zabalba is it's almost like their army isn't a legitimate threat. But they can just field so many armies and spread them out over such a wide area of the map that I can't, I can't put up a successful front, is what seems to be the problem here. But, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go into Forest of Pine, take that out. 90 units right there. I would love to get some reinforcements over to... Gorm and Gorm. I gotta keep those guys together. I just love it. I love the, uh, how they share the same name. Uh, let's see. And then over here. Pretty... We're, we're okay right now. We're being sieged by 80 units in Vokan. So the second I move out of here, they're gonna start attacking this. I'm gonna start... I think I'm just gonna suck it up and do something crazy like that. Until we get so much in Lombaria that they're, it's going to take like a boatload of guys to actually um, take it out. Let's see. We've got Gemner with a fairly decent number of troops. So we want to start moving these guys to the front line also. Oh, Gemner. Let's see. Yeah, let's get him. We can do that actually. It's pretty good. And now over here, the only thing is I'm a little... Oh, no, he's still got 86 units, so it's not bad at all. Just wish wish he had a little more, I would say, but he's holding on in there all right, I guess. Herdman. Where are Herdman at? There we go. Trying to keep these relatively in the same grouping, but I don't think it really matters with the Huskarls. They all have the same... Uh, they all have the same morale and everything, so... All right, let's do it. Let's get this thing figured out. Put a little defense in the Silver Fangs. Not much. 310 units there. Good lord. That is crazy. All right, it doesn't look like the Gnome Lore is continuing to go off. Yeah, I think we're out. So we've, we've looked at everything in the area. Nothing going on. Auspex is still looking. And that's about it. These guys on research. Another large group of 80 units moving in from over here. Ah, uh, God, if they take out... If they take out my uh, provincial defense that I just bought, I'll be a little disappointed, but... Alright, so I'm thinking we move up from the Silver Fangs, we take Kunal, and then from there we'll have two units, two armies on their fronts. Hopefully we can make something work here. My main focus is Zabalba. I need to I need to shrink that, that front down. If I can get it to two provinces wide, I think I can hold it with relative ease. Oh, new magic sites. Uh, they got a new prophet. And here's our attack at Force of Pine. So hopefully we get this back. I don't think they have... Oh, they got more than I thought. Okay. And they got undead. Who is this guy? This is Barre. So. I'm kind of tempted... Oh, there goes the blade wing. Oh, it didn't do crap. Definitely a good spell against Zabalba. I don't know how it'll work against TNCI. But, uh... It's alright. Should be an easy win for us. Though we might lose a little more than I expected. Ooh, nice little fireball there. I think it was a fireball. Eh, it looks like it was an acid bolt.
I played a little bit with TNCI a few days ago with a friend, and I wasn't too crazy about them. I, I thought I would like them a lot. I don't know. I'm a little on the fence. I might give them a shot again. Maybe in my next next video. Here we go. Fearlin' on. Let's see how this works out. These sea trolls throw some pretty nasty stones, but I think I've set them up wrong. If I'm thinking, or maybe I'm thinking of yetis. All right, Fearlin' on. You got you got to get in there. All right. I'm. He he doesn't uh, do as much. He doesn't do as well as I thought he would, to be honest. He's only got two attacks. I guess that's the main problem. He doesn't really have the volume of attacks that he needs to really be a really be an effective offensive force, I guess. Hence the reason why I thought a that dancing trident would be a good idea. What the hell are these things? Amazons. They have a 13 in precision. Oh man, every time those bat ladies, they just fly in and get destroyed. And the herdmen in from behind. Let the rape begin. Oh my god. That's no bueno if you're those guys, those peoples. Terracotta soldiers. Looked like they did pretty good though against us. Alright. Yeah, we lost, uh, we lost ten men. It's more than I thought. I think Kunal is going to be pretty, pretty one-sided. Yeah. Misfortune is Tanafia. Uh, you know, the other thing I need to do is get some, uh, temples over on the left side. Look how terrible my Dominion's doing over here in this area. I mean, they are just, it's just running roughshod all over me, to be honest. There is really no... Uh, I mean, it's all, it's all bad for us. It really is. So, here's a question. They have 410 units here. Can we beat them with 170? Wolves, bone men, so, that's pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty scary. Got some units here we can pick up, so that's nice because we're a little thin right now. Problem is we don't really have anybody to use them. Or to, uh, yeah, we don't have any open squads, which is unfortunate. Let's see, what about putting, you know, it might not be a bad idea to put down a uh, temple right in this spot. I think when we hold this... There's so many units at T and Chi, I'm afraid to move out just yet. 20 shark tribes, I think we can take that. Let's see, these guys, okay, they are just strictly melee too. So I must have been thinking of yetis. They actually uh, throw stones, they do some pretty serious damage. Let's let's actually move them out of Fearlandom's way. So we can get in there. No reason to summon water elemental. I don't have any more water. Oh, I do have nine now. I'm getting three per month. Okay, just kidding about that. And, yeah, we're just going to keep bumping this up. Good lord. Just kidding. Wow, God, I have no money. I'm going to turn this off. We're going we're gonna to have to clear this recruitment, I think. Maybe I just have way too many researchers. That might be it. Because these guys probably... They're almost 10 in gold per per uh, mage. That's a pretty good amount, I guess. And we've actually managed to turn Vokan uh, to our side. So all those priests preaching has worked out in our favor. Let's, uh, let's try sending them over to Resting Heights. Get that switched over. Be pretty nice. 300 units. My god. I don't know if I can overcome that. That's that's pretty significant. Let's see. I want to get this to like 50 at least. Same with this. I need to just... All these castles need to have provincial defenses that can 
stand up without me having to run armies backwards. That's what's killing me, I think. 150 versus 410. I don't think I can win that. I really don't. Okay, we're almost done with research with Conjuration. So that'll max that out. We'll go ahead and leave it like that. And I just realized I don't think the Auspex has been going off, so it must be done searching for Aerogem sites too. So I haven't found much. I did read also that um, for oh, there's the Auspex. Forests and yeah, nothing. Mountains tend to have them more often. Oh god, here we go. How many did they bring? Hardly anything. You gotta be kidding me. So where did they send their, like, 400 units? Yeah, that Blade Wind is pretty much worthless when, uh... When there aren't, uh, just giant swarm of units. So. Nothing going on there. Oh god, I knew they would do this. I knew it. They didn't send much, though. We should be able to win that. That is surprising as well, because they had several hundred units they could have attacked with. So, we're good there. Invoke Han. Which I just bumped up our provincial defense, so hopefully... Okay. I think we're going to pull that one off as well. What is that, though? What is this? Sick Pit the Black Serpent. Servant. Huh. Huh. That's kind of scary. I'm assuming... Oh, you know, Black Servant is a summon that acts as a scout. So, can't imagine he's that much of a threat. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of Vanheim. Olivia. Oh yeah, let's check this out. I want to watch Fear Lanom in action, even though it's pretty uh, insignificant fights. Okay, quick and self. Then the bark skin. Oh god, look at all our trolls. Hang in there, guys. Feral Nob's blocked. That's exactly why I... Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. You've got to be freaking kidding me. He moved on to the water tile, too. So... Unbelievable. I, I, I don't even know if there's a point to me even trying to get in there anymore. <laughs> it's just... It's getting a little ridiculous. Okay. I feel like that's a pretty decent defensive force we have built up there. And then over here in Resting Heights. Hopefully we can turn that really quickly to our side. 450 units. How the hell? Oh my god. It's just so many. Well... What I'm thinking we gotta do... First off, let's dump this into the laboratory. We're gonna give this guy the same treatment that we gave the other one. Army setup. I also found out that you can copy and paste these. That's pretty nice. And we don't need Nagor, I don't think. Move there. So we'll have a good... Pretty good amount of units to fight them with. I think that that'll be plenty to get the job done. Let's see, put them there. So we'll move into Vertland and see if we can hopefully finally take that out. I'm a little worried about Onund being over there by himself, but I'm going to keep faith that he's going to hold out for us. Okay. And then, what do we do with these guys? We're sitting on about 70 units. It's not enough. Is not enough. I can only pull in about four units a turn there, and same here. So I can get about eight a turn of Huskarls. So the question is can we. We have enough to push down into their territory. God, it's a lot as a Balvin area. That is a lot of area. I do not know. I really don't think we do. I mean, I might as well set these to repeat. We're going to need the units. 
So something like that, I guess. Valkoria is ours. Alright. I think I'm going to play out the next two turns, because I'm curious to see if we can... what we can do to Vertland. I really hope... really hope we can take out that monster army there. I'm, like, so amazed at how many they, they're fielding. Hey! Lombaria! Two air per turn? Two air per turn, wow. We're now bringing in ten air gems per turn. So in the off... Uh... Between episodes, I'm going to look at what air summons we can do to uh, put those to use. Ten per turn is pretty huge. Okay, that's, that's a joke. You stupid TNG eye. They're coming at us. Gorm and Gorm. Not many units, though. I'm a little, a little worried about that. And that... I think that was our... Gorm shot. It only did four damage. It's like practically a guaranteed hit, but... They're panicking us. That's interesting. I guess I'm gonna have to move Gorm number two around the backside. Around the side of the map, because he's getting blocked up too much. You can see he didn't even get in there. He probably would have ran those guys down. Anyway. Black Harbor. They did a... Uh... Oh no, this is us. Probably Provincial Defense is not a lot happening this turn. Unrest 30 in Ross. Not good. Let's see. Let's give uh, Bove some units and we'll send him over there to uh, patrol. Let's clear it out. They have 100 there. That That's worrisome. That's a little worrisome. How's he doing? Let's see, he's, uh, he's alright, I guess. Okay, here we go, guys. This is it. This is the big... This is what we've all been waiting for. Now, how do we... Hmm. Can't remember how to set it up so we can see our uh, battle positioning going into that province. I know there's a way, but can't remember. Let's see, we're just going to have him cast spells. Same with this guy, because we're going to... Oh, no, we're not. Damn it, just kidding. I was thinking we had the um, uh, prophet there, but we don't, so... Alright, let's build a temple, and everybody else can reach. Ah, Raspberry Woods. It's negative seven. It's amazing. I don't have a... I don't have a guy over here either. I guess another thing I could do uh, once Auspex is done is move one over to Silver Fangs or Arasafail and start casting over there too. Didn't really think about that. Let's do that. Okay. So they're going. We'll hang out right there. Oh, none. Still sitting on 81 units. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to bump this province defense up. I'm going to start moving out. We're going to go over there. We'll meet them in Vertland after this turn. And hopefully that'll be enough to siege that city. Because last time I was over there, I couldn't freaking break through the walls. So hopefully we don't have that problem this time. That was a 19 turn battle, so that was probably a big one. I bet that was the one we're, we're looking at here. Anything short of, like, a totally, completely decisive victory in our favor is going to be catastrophic for us. Okay, it's Donofio. I can't remember which one that was. All right. They're hanging in there, but they're definitely getting whittled down, and I don't really like it. So, let's do, let's do some province defense up there, too. 35. Looks pretty good. The ball work. Oh, God. Did I not just spend a whole crap load of money on this? It's not even that much. It's not even that much. Oh, my God. How do we lose this? What could possibly 
cause this loss here, other than them going in and killing our archers from behind, and then probably our leadership right here. Oh my god. That's exactly what's going to happen, I bet. Yeah. Uh, yep, they're killing the archers. Then they're going to go in and take out this Van Hurst. Oh my god. That's so incredibly annoying. Oh my god, I hate Zabalba so much. Alright, here's Bertland. Let's see it. I really do. Guys, I hate them so much. And they apparently moved their army out. Thank god that the Blade Wind is going after the back line, because that would have been tragic if it was a misfire into our own line. Oh man, what do you do against this freaking army? Okay, well, that wasn't the uh, major battle I was hoping for. We did lose 10 units. Probably more to friendly fire than anything else. Unexpected event in Devon. 30 more unhappiness. That's not good. Let's see. So we're going to patrol this province. We'll go there and start casting no more. And hopefully we can siege this city down really fast. I, I just can't believe they took that. <laughs> oh, God. It's so unfortunate. I'm not too crazy about these priests being here either now. Let's bump that up just a little bit. I think we'll be okay. So, preach the teachings of God, preach the teachings of God. Hopefully we can turn this dominion around. Get it in our favor. I'm disappointed in Fearlanom. He's not really doing much for us. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode there. I'm going to look at what kind of uh, summons we can produce here. Because I think maybe that will help us fill out these empty armies and things like that. It's It seems like we're just not putting out the numbers that I need. So uh, if you have any suggestions, comments, leave them below as always. And I will see you in the next episode.